Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Who of your shills, debt slayers, peasants, vassals? Meat sacks? I'm Easeful Idiot, and today I'd like to talk about the global phenomenon of youth unemployment. It's come to my attention recently that youth unemployment in the United States is much higher than I had, I had thought. Because if you factor in the labor participation rate, the unemployment rate amongst 16 and 19 year olds is actually 43%. And amongst 20 to 20, 20 to 24 year olds, it's close to 20%. Um, those are both very high um, levels, and that means a lot of uh, college graduates are not finding new jobs, and that means that we're reaching a, a turning point. And uh, I tied this together with the fact that we have countries all over Europe, like Spain and Greece, that have 25 to 50% unemployment levels for their youth as well and Ireland and Portugal and, and Italy and Spain and um, countries all over the Western world have high youth unemployment rates and I'm sure China suffers from the same and um, anyway this is a global phenomenon and to me in the big picture I think this is the pivot point in globalization where this is the generation that has to bear the brunt of the pivot to the new global wage scale system because in globalization you have to to extrapolate that necessarily the wages in third world countries have to come up and the wages in first world countries like America and Western Europe have to go down and at some point they're going to meet in some some uh, area of a universal wage scale of some sort um, that will operate on a global level. It just necessarily has to happen with all the free trade agreements and, and globalization. So that's my, my bottom line here and what I want to point out. And to me, this is the pivotal point of a process I thought would be a little slower. But in the context of things, it makes complete sense because first we had the manufacturing base and the working middle class of America dismantled. And then we have the blue blue collar uh, exodus followed by the white collar exodus so now we have high tech and professional um, outsourcing to other countries and so there's a necessity to just have pretty much the upper level of society and big business and then a large service sector and that's precisely the direction the American economy is going in the large service sector and so large parts of the workforce have to be shuffled around. So that's why we're finding that the American middle class is being dismantled. And now the pivot point for globalization has been arrived at. And that's where this generation, this generation of youth in Europe and America have to bear the brunt of this changeover. So they are the first ones to not live fully the American dream their future does not look so good and uh, the same thing in Europe um, they've been reaping the benefits of their post warfare uh, post World War II welfare state and now they're finding uh, the fruits of that and we're going to find a lost generation there as well and a, a couple other factors that uh, you have to bring up here too is that of course uh, youth massive unemployment amongst youth could create a radical radicalized militant class so we shall see certainly more likely in Europe than in the United States but uh, all bets are off considering the situation we find ourselves in and the other part of that of course is that a uh, large part of the working class in Europe and Japan and the United States and China um, are retiring um, in the United States I think it's something like 10,000 a day are retiring so we're going to see this uh, revenue base dry up with youth unemployment at high levels so they won't be contributing to the revenue flow to the government at the same time that the government's liabilities for the welfare state and pensions and retirement and Medicare and Social Security will be increasing so you can see the uh, fiscal calamity that will be unleashed and um, so quite a heady brew so massive youth unemployment older generations retiring and requiring more help from the state while the state's revenue base dwindles. So not a good recipe, but uh, I, I want to declare 
and this is my uh, my bottom line on this, is that we are at that pivot point, and this high youth unemployment rate is the first generation to fully feel the brunt of a world of future austerity, a dismantling of the welfare state, um, no youthful opportunities. Um, they will not fully participate in the economy as consumers like their uh, generations before them. So this is a very important time in history, and I think a, a another building block in the global society and a downside that we knew was coming. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.